All right. I want to address something that's really been irking me. I've been observing this online amongst balanced obedience trainers. Um, and I think it's incredibly disingenuous. It's dishonest. It's putting wrong information out there. And I don't really think that um, they're telling the truth about themselves, the people that are doing this. Okay. So right now, I'm seeing more and more in reaction to the Toronto ban on e-callers. And there's a push both nationally but really internationally to ban particular kinds of tools, prong callers and e-callers in particular. Um, and the response amongst a lot of balanced trainers has been, has been to inflate themselves. I don't need those tools, but, you know, I don't like being told what to do. You know, I, I could train without them. You know, I, it would just take longer. Right. You know, and I've heard this in the past, like, yeah, I could train a dog with a shoelace, but it would take me longer. It's vanity, it's ego, and it's a lie. Okay. Um, one guy I observed this, saying this online, and I'm, I'm not going to name names, but he's sponsored by eCaller Technologies. He's like, you watch all his videos, he's like the eCaller guy. Okay. He's got, he's a good trainer, but don't fucking lie, man. You know, um, Here's the thing. You're going to need to correct a dog when you train them. They don't speak English, all right? They, they don't understand ambiguity. And if you watch them interact amongst themselves, especially higher caliber breeds, they're kind of rough. They're not like us, okay? They're actually better. They're more honest in their brutality, whereas we like to sneak around and, and, and lie, just like these trainers are doing right now. Um, but you're going to have to correct a dog in training sometimes. And in order to do that correctly, you're going to need certain tools. Okay? There's no way around it. Now, I don't know how else you correct a dog without corrective uh, collars. You can do the Caesar Milan shit, you know, or you could just control them with your energy. You could use food, but that's not a correction, right? Maybe you alpha roll the dogs. Probably what it would result in, okay, is pr much more brutal forms of punishment being administered. Before e-callers, the way that off -le dogs used to be trained off-leash, it was pioneered by William Keeler, who was a bit of a psychopath. A lot of his stuff still influences dog training today. He was very influential in the 60s. But he used to have the dog tied off. The dog would have a, um, a, a choke chain on. He would walk. The dog would be tied off, and he'd keep walking, and he'd do an about turn. And if the dog didn't follow him, it would be right at the end of when the leash would tighten on the long line. The dog didn't follow him precisely, the dog would go boop and choke itself. Okay? They'd use throw chains, which is what it sounds like. That's, I mean, and they'd flog the dog. I have a book by this fucking nutcase talk, talking about flogging. They'd give the dog a good hiding for 10 minutes. Right? So that's how, how before a lot of these tools came along, how... A lot of this stuff was done. It was a lot less humane. And now we have tools that allow you to, that you don't have to, you, it doesn't have to be like bam, bam, hard corrections with these tools, especially with the one call everyone hates, which is the prong. The two calls I hate are the e call and the prong. The prong is like, if, if you use it correctly on most dogs, it's like little, it's like power steering. It's not much. Some dogs are just really tough and um, strong. They'll need a little more, you know. In the e-collar, there's no actual pressure being distributed across the neck. It's localized, right? So you could make an argument, even though I, I think that the e-collar is a little bit less organic feeling to dogs, that that's the most humane tool because it's putting less stress on the neck muscles. In any event, if anyone knows of a way to correct a dog without the tools I use, tell me. But these are the tools I use, okay? Ready? I use. And by the way, not every dog uses... All of these tools, right? Some of them are, I may only use one. A lot of them I use a combination of them. But these are the ones that I use. Um, they're good. Every dog that I train is going to use at least one of these and probably a combination of them. Okay? So we'll start with, okay, this would be, this is a steel martingale. Okay? They all mimic a mother's bite. Correction. Okay? This is a slip. It's not a choke chain. We don't choke dogs with it. If you use it correctly, it's pop and release. This is mainly a, a safety collar I use in case the main collar fails. But sometimes I use them. They're, those are kind of moderate level corrections, actually, if you use it correctly. And it's, but I don't like them, too. They put pressure on the trachea. This is a Starmark pinch collar. 
I've been using these instead of the, the heavy steel prongs lately, although I still use the steel prongs for certain dogs, uh, just not as much anymore. These are more moderate. I like these. You get most of the time, most dogs, less is more. Star Mark, I use a ton of. This is like something I use with puppies, okay? It's, this is technically a pinch collar, right? But it's plastic. Secret Service uses it. It's great with puppies, trained dogs, soft dogs. This is so easy. Uh, okay, and then, and then the e-collar, and this is for off-leash training. You know a way to reliably train dogs without an e-collar on? And I'm not talking about the dogs that want to stay by you or the dogs that are really food motivated. I mean, you know, a large, large percentage of dogs reliably without an e-collar, without going back to the Keeler method, let me know because I'd be interested. So I don't know what the fuck all these balance trainers are talking about with, well, I could train a dog without tools and if you don't know how to do it, then uh, you better check your abilities. It's egotistical nonsense, and I'll tell you what it really is. It's capitulation to the purely positive people because everyone's in such a competition to sound the most humane. And you know what's humane? is helping the fucking dogs and the owners. That's what's humane, okay? It's getting the... We are putting down... They say four, four and a half million. It's, I'm telling you, it's, it's really probably closer to eight. Exterminating millions of dogs every year. And a large percentage of those dogs is for behavioral issues. All right, and and you fucking assholes are responding to Toronto's ban on fucking e collars by saying, "Yeah, well, I don't really need those tools." You know, and trainers that think they do, they should they should check their own abilities. Really, it's about you and your fucking vanity and ego. First of all, you're wrong and you're lying because you do use these tools. Because I've seen your videos, and how you correct a dog without without corrective tools, I don't know. You have a talk with them. You do Reiki. You know? Like maybe we could do, adopt what behaviorists do. We could do a process of reconditioning over a period of seven years. God, this industry is full of a bunch of fucking assholes. And if really, people who practice dog training, I don't fuck this balance, purely positive shit. No. There are dog trainers, and those are the people who have to occasionally correct dogs. And then there are charlatans, people who steal money and lie. And those are the force-free people, purely positive people. All right, so if you're a dog trainer, your response to that kind of legislation should be militant and nothing but. And if, if you make it about you, shame on you. That's disgusting. Because ultimately, what's the price of this? Bans on tools equal bans on breeds. And we're going to have more dogs euthanized. We're going to, we're going to have like watered down, sweet, sickly dogs that have been basically selectively bred for one trait, right? Which is uh, just being really sweet. Docility. That's it. We're going to have really docile, sweet, sickly dogs that live to about six and can barely breathe with huge neurological issues due to single trait breeding. They'll, they'll be a little safer for us. But they won't be dogs anymore. All right? So all you, all you fucking assholes with your fucking Malinois, oh, yeah, yeah, sport guys with your fucking egos who all use these tools. How I am so sick of hearing this shit. Well, I don't need those to, to, to train a dog. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And why don't you, why don't you actually have some integrity and stand up to what's going on instead of being in such a race to... To convince everyone how goddamn humane you are. Help people and help the dogs. That's humane. It's not about your ego.